Hello and welcome to our Game Over channel. Long time no see. It's been a bit of a crazy um, couple of weeks uh, to say at least. But I am back with another uh, vlog video. And in this video we're going to talk about a few things. The first thing I want to address is that my honest opinion about the Panasonic G7 video. It's by far one of the more popular videos I've made and I've got quite a, I've got quite a lot of hate about this, believe it or not. I don't understand why people got so butthurt about that video because it is my honest opinion. It says my honest opinion about Panasonic G7. In there I voiced uh, my concerns and my praise about the camera and yet none of my praise was heard and all of the concerns were taken out of the proportion by some people that just, I don't know, maybe just aim to make as much, uh, you know, issues out of what they hear as possible. So let me clarify some stuff, okay? Things that I did not clarify, maybe enough for those people, okay? Number one is yes, I have been a pro photographer for a really long time, so I know what I'm talking about. And maybe because of that, my perception of that camera has been a little bit skewed. Uh, when I came down to it from a DSLR and a pro DSLR market, I thought that uh, micro four thirds have developed appropriately, okay? And, um, and, and, and moved on since then because I remember the beginnings of micro four thirds and those were not great cameras. And, and sure enough, they, you know, they went a really long way, like I said. In the video, the 4K capabilities of the G7 are amazing, but, but the photo does not stack up. And I might just have high standards and probably anyone with maybe less um, degree of experience and less years of experience, maybe someone that doesn't exactly, you know, pixel peep all that much. And, you know, it's not like completely about per pixel sharpness like I am. Because, you know, okay, I admit I'm a little bit obsessed with per pixel sharpness and, you know, and ISO uh, capabilities. So for me, uh, that was a big deal breaker when it comes to a G7. People don't seem to realize that when you come down, and I really mean come down from a pro DSLR market, there is a huge difference. And it doesn't matter how much you like the system, how much you're pro micro four thirds, it doesn't, they don't match up. They just do not. And I understand that this is a rather cheap camera. And uh, like I say, 4K video is amazing. But I also don't think you understand uh, or at least some of you don't understand how it works. So let me just explain that very, very briefly for you why I said that a 1080, uh, 60 frames per second, it's not that great. Because I don't know if you know that um, every video is recorded at a certain amount of megabits per second. And those megabits per second are split in between frames. So right now I'm recording at 100 megabits per second at 4K, but I'm recording it at, um, 25 frames per second. So 20, every second has that 100 megabits and they are split into, you know, evenly between, well, or roughly evenly in between those 25 frames. Now, if I would try to put that 100 megabits per second into 60 frames, then you will see that every frame will have to get a little bit less, you know, megabits in it. So a little bit less information. Now, Couple that with um, with the fact that you get so much less information from a 1080p, and the fact that you no longer record at 1080 at um, 100 megabits per second, but at 28, you could see how this impacts. Like you know, much less resolution means much less sharpness, and um, you know a little bit worse ISO performance. Then you come down from 100 megabits per second to 28 megabits per second. So that's uh, practically well over three times, you know, less. And then you go from 25 frames per second to 60 frames per second. Well, you know, you can see you're going to get about half of a megabit per frame, you know, just about there, right? So um, you see what I mean, right? There's not really much room to play about. Saying that I will want to try the GH4, so that's on its way. 
we're going to test that and uh, we're going to see how it goes because GH4 does not drop the from 100 megabits per second to 28 it actually goes uh, from 100 to 200 when you drop from 4k to 1080 well, you know we'll experiment and see um, what happens hopefully that will put your thinking to rest and if you still doubt that i'm any kind of photographer i will leave the link down below in the description to my uh, portfolio on 500px and you know you can see for yourself that i in fact do photography okay uh, whether i'm good or not it's uh you know it's in the eye of the beholder like they say um i don't find myself particularly brilliant but then no artist ever finds themselves brilliant and uh i critique my work a lot and feel free to critique my work as well i don't take this personally right try to be use what i what is called a constructive criticism if you're capable okay that would be about that video the next one I want to touch upon is Mass Effect Andromeda. There's been a lot of crap going around uh, when it comes to Mass Effect Andromeda. People have been slamming this for bugs and facial animations and, and you know, bad graphics and, you know, everything. You know what? I disagree. I think Mass, Andro Mass Effect Andromeda looks really good. Um, you know, you can see it right now. It looks really nice. Uh, it works perfectly well with uh, NVIDIA's Ansel. You can do some, you know, crazy resolution screenshots and 360 uh, VR, you know, 360 degrees VR photos and you, you name it, right? You can do a lot with it. Yes, facial animations need improving. I haven't found any, you know, specific bugs or anything for that matter that would break the game um, you know for now I think I found only one I'm not going to mention what it is uh, for those of you that actually play the game okay uh, so because it's a part of the story and you know we're waiting for some sort of fix there so I don't want to spoil it for you so but you know of everything I found a single bug and uh, I don't think it's too bad for a you know, a huge title, huge big title like that. So yeah, they said that they are going to fix it. What I do want to address is that uh, once you progress a little bit in the story, and you know, if you haven't went, if you haven't gone past uh, EOS yet, um, skip this next minute or so, okay? Um, you know, for the sake of you not spoiling it. But once you settle on EOS, and uh, one of the side quests uh, gets you speaking to a woman. Well, the thing is that while you speak to them, if you speak to her a little bit more, uh, she says something that um, lots of people found offensive for some reason. And she says, back on Earth, I was known as Steven. She's, I guess, transgender? You could say that? And um, yeah, she was named as Steven. She was a male. Now she's a female. And uh, what does the hell matter, okay? We didn't have any characters in the game that were a part of the, you know, this, um, you know, LG, uh, BT community, okay? They, you know, they did not, it never happened. And I understand that her story could have been written a little bit better. And yeah, her story is written a little bit, you know, let's say a little shoddy, a little, little too simple uh, for my taste. And a bad story uh, can actually harm the community more then they were intended to help. I understand what developers try to do. I understand that they try to, you know, um, include as many types of persons and personalities in that game as it is humanly possible. So we get uh, transgender people, we have uh, gay people, you know, and, you know, we have different races and everything like that. So, so this is a very... Uh, very broad game which I have to uh, admit like I admire that myself a lot maybe I will get a lot of bullocking for that you know what I don't care this is my opinion so um you don't have to agree with me but feel free to leave the comment down below if you do agree with me or don't agree with me um, you know maybe we can actually have an adult um, you know civilized conversation about this I'm glad that they introduced it I'm not glad that they got so much crap for it but I understand that LGBT community got a little bit annoyed 
that the character was oversimplified, that her story was written crappy, and uh, you know, I, I wish there would be an easy fix for that. Maybe next time, okay? Maybe next time. And the third and last thing I would like to address today is, uh, you probably noticed I've been wearing an Apple Watch for some time, and um, I've been testing this uh, for a little while, uh, for well over a month. Well, well over a month, yeah, I think so. It must have been over, it doesn't matter. Um, as you probably see, by the way I look, I'm not the most athletic person, and why would I even have an Apple phone, you know, Apple Watch, right? The second generation Apple Watch, and you know, I have to admit, it's pretty awesome, but I will be making completely a separate video about this, because I wanted to bring you a perspective, is the Apple Watch worth getting, okay? If you're not a person who works out a lot, and who is incredibly active. Although I have to admit, I ever since my daughter was born, I'm uh, much more active than I used to be. Because, you know, you can't just sit in the front of the computer and play games all the time, or just go to work and play some games and then eat something and sleep. I actually work, walk, you know, with her for about five to 10 kilometers every single day now. Only when it's like raining like crazy and windy like, windy like crazy. And it's only then that we don't go out. But otherwise than that, we go out all the time, every single day. So it's a nice, fun way of keeping track of my, um, you know, physical activity, but I don't want to spoil too much. I will get in detail in the next video when I will be talking about this as to, is it worth to get an Apple Watch if you're not a fit fitness oriented person, okay? And that would wrap up for today. I, um, I'm hoping that you enjoyed that video and don't forget to leave thumbs up if you did and subscribe to my channel because it helps a lot and uh, leave the comment down below because you're awesome. Okay, so until the next video and take care everybody. Peace, bye.